Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how to control your old DSP plugins in Studio One using the MVave Chocolate MIDI controller. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the Cube Suite editor to your desktop from the QVave website. Go to the link in the description and follow the download instructions. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. When you launch the Cube Suite program on your desktop, you will be presented with this screen. Click Foot Control and select Advanced Custom Mode. In order for the chocolate to control neural DSP plugins in Studio One, we must program it to send SysX messages. Let's begin by setting up pedal A. Select foot switch A and check mode, step short or step long. When you check this box, you'll see a second box appear that is labeled Bank B. Whatever you program in Bank A will be executed when you step on the pedal and release it. Whatever you program in Bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select custom MIDI code. Here, we'll enter a hexadecimal number in the custom MIDI code box to toggle effects. You can find these numbers for each of the pedals in the description. Enter B0 0 1 0 0 B0 0 1 7F and click OK. Next, go to Bank B. Click Add and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select Custom MIDI Code. Here, we'll enter a hexadecimal number. Enter B0 0 5 0 0 B0 0 Zero five, seven f and click OK. Let's repeat the previous procedure for pedal B. Select foot switch B and check mode, step short or step long. Go to bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter B0 0 2 Zero zero B zero zero two seven F and click OK. Next, go to Bank B. Click Add and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter B zero zero six zero zero. B0 zero, zero, 06 7F and click OK. Now let's go to pedal C. Select foot switch C and check mode, step short or step long. Go to bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter B0 Zero three, zero zero, B zero, zero three, seven F, and click OK. Next, go to Bank B. Click Add and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter B zero, zero seven, zero zero. B0 zero, zero, 07 seven 7F and click OK. Finally, let's program pedal D. Select foot switch D and check mode, step short or step long. Go to bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter. B0 0 
zero four zero zero B zero zero four seven F and click OK. Next, go to Bank B. Click Add and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. Select custom MIDI code. Enter B0 08 00 B0 08 7 F and click OK. The last thing we need to do is to set the expression pedal. Select expression pedal and click interface. Double click the entry and enter 11 for data. The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up Studio One to control neural DSP plugins. Before we begin, we must set up the chocolate controller in Studio One. In the menu, go to Studio One. Options and click the external devices tab click add select unknown vendor enter chocolate as the device name for receive from and send to enter USB MIDI and click OK click OK and open the plugin now that the plugin is open, click the drop down arrow next to the cog icon and select chocolate. Click the cog icon so the parameter bar is displayed. Click the drop down arrow in the parameter bar and select chocolate. The external devices window will open with the chocolate tab displayed. Click MIDI Learn and single press each pedal. You'll see a knob appear for each pedal you've pressed. Now long press each pedal. Again, you'll see a knob appear for each of the long presses. If you have an expression pedal connected, you can move the pedal and another knob will appear. After all of the pedals have been MIDI learned, click the arrow and select button, press slash release on each of the pedals to change them from knobs to buttons. You'll leave the control for the expression pedal as a knob. Deactivate MIDI learn. In the parameter pane, you'll see a hand icon. If you don't see it, Click the drop down in the parameter section and unselect recently touched, then reselect it and move a knob or a button. Move a control on the plugin. You'll see the control name displayed next to the hand. Grab the hand and drag it to a pedal on the chocolate external device pane. You'll see the name appear on the pedal you have chosen in the pane. You can now control the parameter from the chocolate MIDI controller. Repeat the process to complete the bank. Now you can test the chocolate controller. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button 
and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.